about to get on I-95 North. Joe and I here this morning, and we are headed to a brand new permission in Gold Vein, Virginia. Hoping for some relics today. Looks like there's an old home site in the back of the home. Back of the home, back of the property. Because in the 50s, that field was still back there. So, hoping for an old home site. Landowner says there is an old stone wall. You guys probably can't even see us, can you? Just realized how dark it is. Because <laughs> it's only 6.48 a.m. And we're dealing with the new parts of the highway here. Check it out. Heading up to, to 17, which isn't far. We stay right here where we are at. All right, we'll see you at the first hole. Hope for something good. Ooh, Joe, what's up, man? What's going on? We're ready, dude. New permission. New permission, brand new, 250-ish acres, but in the very back of the property, I had noticed using, of course, historicaerials.com. Maybe I'll link that down below if I catch this when I'm editing, but uh, we use that because we like to look at the old pictures. So it's like, uh, I think this property went back to as far as 1950. And the field we're standing in right now was still here. No visible home site, but it's so far from the main road that's been there for, I mean, years and years and years. If it's back this far, we're thinking there's got to be a home site so far back from the farm. There's a farm here now where they have some cows and stuff, but it's way up by the road. I mean, this is this is a good 10-minute walk from there. Where we got to, Thank goodness we got the drive. But Joe just got a good signal. We dug a couple, people, a couple pieces of trash already, but go ahead, Joe. I told Joe to wait. We opened it and it's still down in there. I told him we need to, you know, it sounded, it sounded kind of coiny. Uh-oh. It's right here in the... It's in the top? Yeah. I thought it was still in the hole. And of course, when it's in the grass, I always... Uh, bullet. Bullet. Dang it. Darn. So we were just up there where you saw Joe find that bullet. And we walked all the way down here. And I just got a nail deep right there. There's charcoal in the hole. Joe got a 70 signal right here. And just popped out that. And that, folks, to me, looks like a piece of a colonial shoe buckle. That's what I would say that is. We've dug a lot of them. Just a chunk. But, dude... Hopefully that's a sign it. of what's to come. Hopefully we're on it right here. Right hopefully area. hopefully we're in the area of an old colonial, very old colonial home site is what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Joe just walked over here and he goes, there's something around on the surface and it's ringing a 62. Yeah, right there. Looks like a flat button, dude. Want me to pop it? Yeah. Yep, Tomback. <laughs> yes, sir, that's a Tomback button. <laughs> Just laying on top of the trail. Just laying on top of the trail right here. Oh, no, it's a flat button. Shank shank bent over. Shank intact, I think. Come on. Oh, yeah, shank bent over right there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, Joe. <laughs> right? He's like, he's like, I see something right here in 60s right here in the middle of the trail. Okay, so we have found an old home site. That's pretty cool. It might have been hammered before, but we'll hope there's something left in here. Oh, yeah, so back over here by the four-wheeler trail. Right there. Boom. It looks like a shanked up spun back to me. Might even have been played in a little by the owner of it. That's colonial all day. Let's hope there's some silver in here somebody missed. We got this whole field to check, but we didn't get on any. But we only dug a couple signals up there that were trash. So we might not even be. There's a little iron here, but not too much. So I think maybe we might be off. Maybe the home site is over there. And this is just where they came down to get water. I can see way down this hill, a bunch of trails, but way down this hill, there's a um, creek down there. I can see it running. So maybe that was their water source, but pretty sweet right there. Just walking, love to find it. There is some, I think that's gotta be some pottery, right? Watch me. Let me, let me try to pry it out this way. Yeah, that's pottery all day. Of course, I can't put my thing away. Yeah. I don't know specifics on the potteries, but it's not plastic. That's pottery. Awesome. Definitely near a home site. Joe just said flatty. 
That's good. Shanks broke. Nice little platter. Shanks broke, he said. Let's check it out. Can I tell you? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Shank is broke off. Let me rub it a little here. Probably have. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you know what, though? That might. That might be closer to. Um, well, I guess that is. That's colonial still, but it could be closer to the 1800s. That's awesome, dude. Nice. Hell yeah, and that's that. Here's that other piece of shoe buckle Joe found. Which is neat. You can see the curvature right there where the pin would have went. So they were back here, that's for sure. So we have done a whole loop. There's just a lot of modern bullets over there. There's a big firing range over here. That's normal, you know, but no iron concentration until we get here. So this little back corner here, we're just gonna hammer this and hope for uh, something. Cool, maybe it goes into the woods over here to the side a little bit. We'll check it out. All right, well, for me, this is one of the signs that this place has probably been detected before, is the, kind of the only signals left are little tiny things like this. This is a flat button, cuff button probably. Shank broken off the back, but uh, yeah, that's the kind of only signals we're hearing. Sounds like somebody might be here. I see Joe, he's way out in the middle of the field over here. He said he was gonna go around and make sure there was no other iron patches. I'm starting to think if the house wasn't sitting right here in this corner, that maybe it's down here in one of these valleys. Cause we have a colonial site that it's in the woods and it's close to a creek, closer. So maybe they just came up here to farm and the house is down in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go searching. All right, Joe just got a signal here. He told me to dig it. So, oh, of course that's 10 points on one. But I hear it in this wall. We're both thinking probably button. It's in the 60s. I don't even know if you guys can see in here. It's like, what'd you say? It's like watching paint dry. It's right here, whatever it is. Uh, oh, maybe a piece of horse tacky. Something like that. Probably went on leather is my guess. Cool. All right. Be back at you. All right. That just came out from deep. Good signal. And I know what that is. That is the other side of a rains guide holder. Colonial all day. See the two holes on it? That's awesome. The owners will love to see that. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna get that cleaned up and check out that detail. Awesome. Wow, that's cool, that's a cool one, yeah. So I'm just super slow going in here. And that was, I mean, that was every bit of a, a almost a leshy tool deep, so. This might be a spot to come back and practice with the GPX. That's for sure. Joe's digging something, all right, cool. Joe's found a couple more flat buttons too, and so have I. Right there, loud signal, I was thinking trash, but nope huge dandy button beautiful i mean i smacked the crap out of it with the shovel so that's okay that happens it was so loud it was near the surface i would not have thought that was anything fantastic we are filling the box with some colonial to mid mid to early 1800s relics that's for sure i had joe spray some water on this real quick i had to make sure it didn't say gw right in the middle of it because that would have been horrible. What you got, Joe? Colonial washer. Oh, nice. Colonial washer. Fantastic. Those those are great. Those went to the Colonial John Deere's. <laughs> we have moved from another field. The where we just were was way back through there. And we were parked up over here. And we just walked out through here. Joe got a flat button. I dug a piece of a thimble. And then literally right here, we're thinking, we're thinking, okay, we're, but we're into now a newer home site, but still probably mid 1800s and mm -mm, no i think it it excuse me it is plus it isn't they must have been all over this property because i just found this and that it's definitely a piece of a shoe buckle if you can see right there where the pin would have went through I'll try to keep it in my hand but look at the ornateness on that that's amazing i will definitely take that it's shredded or at least it's been hit wasn't too deep uh, we can see they definitely keep cows in here but the cows are in another field right now but there's a nice stream running down here great place for a home site the iron definitely picked up a little so 
for sure. All right, let's get on the next one. Hopefully some coins come out. I would talk about this for a second over here because since, sorry about the wind, it's really bad on the phone. But Joe and I are near, uh, we are in Gold Vein, Virginia. And because we're in Gold Vein, Virginia, there are things like this where you could easily, I'm sure, pan some gold right here. This beautiful rocky flat right here, all rocky, and this is as natural as it gets in Virginia. These folks own a treasure, and I'm sure they know it. You can see the many spots they cross. They cross right here. They drive their dirt bikes and stuff all around. That's awesome. I mean, I would too, all this land. That's just beautiful, ain't it? Wow. Cool. Awesomeness. We, I mean, we got to get gold pans and come back one day, just check it, dig a little bit and see if there's a concentration. All right, let's get some coins out in the field. All right, another good signal here. Uh, I see it right there in the clod. No, uh, flat button. Look at that. Yeah, I feel where the shank went right there. Broken off. Boom. Another flatty. No shank. But that's okay. It's got to be some coins in here somewhere. So our... Uh, some of the people that uh, own the property or play on the property at least they brought us back here to show us this which is really really awesome i love to see stuff like this now some of the rocks there's some huge stones here you can see them outcropping but this for sure is not natural that for sure is a rock wall and you can see it how they're stacked i mean they're not stacked perfectly by any means but this is not uh a natural formation at all excuse me you see it goes in a straight line so m i'm wondering if there was a starter starter home that we haven't found yet because we found some things up in that back corner and we no no sounds in here just yet but it looks like it's a tree has fallen that grew between it but i'm wondering if it goes further but also, there's a deep creek here, and it's a drop-off. So also, I'm wondering if they put this here just to keep cattle or kids from not jumping. But it's still pretty freaking cool. I'm going to take some photos of it, and we'll see if we get another signal. Joe's right there swinging. If not, we're going to head back out to the top and give it at least another hour. Cool. Ooh, all right. Well, Joe and I are going to call that a day. We have walked... A lot around this property but we've discovered at least two separate home sites which is awesome and i'm still confused because we found parts of shoe buckles at both and i would thought this one would be the oldest and then the one closer to the street would be the would be newer but who knows anywho let's go over what we what we found here so i got that nice uh deer shed here probably it looks like he was an eight pointer he's probably out there he's probably a 10 pointer now uh glass jar it's not too old this glass is probably pretty old it's got um some bubbles in it looks pretty thick but love that love that blue glass blue glass that's my favorite kind of music blue glass blue glass music <laughs> well got some uh pieces of cooking pot things like that nice big piece of uh of a um like a food storage pot big one and here's all joe's stuff he's probably got shoot 15 or more buttons there pieces of shoe buckle iron buckle of course musket ball joe he's got to dig a couple musket balls and then i've got a bunch of flat buttons bunch of pieces of um uh what you call it shoe buckle uh rain's guide uh even a, even a piece of a um thimble yeah that's great well we did good today yes we did I feel like we had a, had a lot a, of walking today a lot of walking i think i've got almost twelve thousand. 14,000 steps something like that that brick wall or that rock wall that's neat but it's it's really it's not far from here but it's far from here as in like you know probably what was here but may, maybe whoever lived here at the time was starting something and they never got around to continuing it but it is down by the creek by the stream so but next time we'll, we'll we're gonna come here we're gonna bring the gpx's i think there's some deeper stuff down in this corner where we found all the goodies a lot of the goodies but hey guys fill in your holes take all your trash with you and we're going to see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you at the next hole. We're going to see you there.